Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Crendor, and welcome back to Crendor Talks in front of a shitty green screen. Today, I'm talking about Warhammer. Um, it's been almost a year since I've done a Warhammer update on this channel. Uh, but I have a Warhammer channel where I post a lot more Warhammer things, if you didn't know. It's Warhammer Crendor, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, and I just wanted to talk a bit about it, so, because last March, I made a video on this channel showing off my Warhammer collection. And there's a lot of it. <laughs> um, if you want to check that video out, I'll put it in the cards up there. Um, but pretty much two years ago, maybe a little over like two years, like two and a half years ago, I got back into Warhammer. Um, I'd not played it since I was in seventh grade or something. And I didn't even play it correctly back then because I had no idea how to build metal lizards. So I had a bunch of metal lizards. I still actually have two of them, um, so it's kind of fun, <laughs> but I don't have anything else. And so I rebought the old book from back then. It was like sixth edition or one of those old editions. Um, and I was looking through it back when Classic WoW came out. So that was kind of like my big nostalgia year. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm playing Classic WoW again. Let's go back. Let's play some Warhammer again, right? So I started, I bought some lizard men and I started building them. And I was like, dude, I love this. <laughs> and so after that, I just went crazy. I, was, I bought every Seraphon thing. Um, I started uh, actually getting into the game aspect of it. So I learned how to actually play the game of Age of Sigmar. And then I started getting really into playing the game. And then I was just, then I was doing everything. I was building, playing, pl painting, whatever, whatever else there is. <laughs> Uh, and it was it was great. I loved it. And my favorite part about it was it was also something that I could just do that wasn't sitting at a computer, right? It was a very creative, uh, and still is a very creative hobby that you can just sit here. You can put on some music. You can put on videos. You can do whatever. I mean, you can, well, you can still be at a computer, but you're not just looking at a screen, you know what I mean? And it's not something that's, like, stressful, like playing League of Legends. <laughs> Um, and you just, you know, sit there, you paint, and you're creative. It's nice, and it's a nice creative outlet. So, um, here's one of my favorite things I've done. I don't know if the shitty green screen is going to pick it up. This is my Maw Crusher. Let's see if I go back for far enough here. Actually, if I keep him in front of me, you can kind of see it. There we go. Uh, I actually did a custom base. I made that base, so it's like a desert base. Uh, this is one of my favorite things I've done. And so... This is my first time even doing, like, a big custom base or anything, so uh, I felt pretty good when I finished this. Although, you know, some of it still doesn't look great. I'd probably change some, but overall, you know, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. And so this is probably one of my favorite models I've done. Um, he's also pretty big. He's like, <laughs> he's a cabbage, right? So uh, I've, I've essentially, since I started playing, I started with Seraphon and Lizardmen, and then I did... What did I do? Not Skaven yet. I did Beasts of Chaos, which... I wish they'd update them. <laughs> uh, what do I got back here? I did Beasts of Chaos. I did... Uh, Ossiarch Bone Reapers. I did Orcs. I literally did Bone Splitters, Iron Jaws, and I have Cruel Boys now, so I have every Orc. Uh, I did Skaven. Skaven was a great time. Loved playing Skaven. Loved building Skaven, except for some of the old models. Uh, I did <laughs> Ossiarch Bone Reapers. I think I said them already. Uh, I did I did Nurgle, since Nurgle got their new battle tome. I got really into playing Nurgle, so I'm excited to play them in Warcraft 3 when that comes... Or Warcraft 3. Warhammer Total War 3. <laughs> Warcraft 3! Um... And so, uh, you know, I have a lot of Age of Sigmar armies, and, you know, I've met a lot of people uh, in the hobby by doing this, and so I have a few people that I tend to play games with, and they were all, some of them played 40k and some of them didn't, so there's uh, another guy, and he was like, yo, we haven't actually really played much 40k, and I was like, I'm not a big 40k person. I've said it time and time again, I'm not a big 40k person, I don't really care much about uh, the lore, where people really get into the lore. It's not really me. That's like a Jesse thing. Uh, <laughs> and none of the armies really interested me. Um, but back like a, when Indominus came out, they sent me an Indominus box. So I had a bunch of Necrons and then 
I don't care about Space Marine. <laughs> if you know me, I don't play human faction things ever. I mean, I play humanoid factions, but I don't play human factions. Uh, which carries over into my role playing in D and D uh, and just video games. I just I don't like the human races in games, right? I just <laughs> if I'm gonna play a fantasy thing, I want to play something different than what I am. Okay, that's just my opinion. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll try 40k with Necrons. And so I was like, at least if I learn how to play the game, then. I could at least, like, have opinions on it, understand what's happening with 40k, and blah, 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 right? It's one of those things, like, uh, don't bash it till you try it, so at least if I try it, then I could be like, here's what I don't like, here's what I like, right? You can actually form an educated opinion on it. Um, so, or at least an experience-based opinion, and I don't know how much educated opinions there are out there. Um, but, so I went ahead, I played a 500-point game of 40k, and I actually enjoyed it. So then, just the other night, I played a 1,000-point game of 40k. We did, like, a 2v2, so we each had a 1,000 against the other 2,000. So it was... Um, I honestly don't even know the other armies they were. There was Admech, there was Space Marines, I was Necrons, and then... Whatever the, like, normal-looking soldiers are that are made out of resin. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, they were, they were really bad. So, <laughs> after playing that, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to build some 40k stuff. So now I'm actually building more Necrons. <laughs> I am building Orcs. So the only two armies that interest me in 40k are Necrons and Orcs. Nothing else interests me. I've looked through all the armies numerous times just to be like, all right, am I sure that I like these armies or don't like these armies? And after looking through numerous times, Necrons, Orcs. And Orcs, specifically, the Squig Orcs. So, I want to just play a full squig army. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care if it's amazing. I just, that's what I want. I want full squigs. So, I know there's a squig boss. I've got squigs. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, that's, I just want squigs. <laughs> and then uh, I got a kill rig uh, that, actually, when it came out, Games Workshop actually sent me a kill rig. And I was like, well, I don't even play 40k, but this is a cool model. And now I'm like, dude, nice, I got a kill rig, I can build it. <laughs> and then, I think if I played a 2,000 point game, I would build the Stompa, which is like... I don't even get... People are like, it, su it sucks, and it's not good. I don't care, it's a giant, like, trash robot. Like, normal vehicles and stuff don't really interest me, but like, a big trash robot, I can get behind that. It looks like a battle bot from the old, like, 90s battle bot shows. With the little knoblars on it. I love it. So I want to build a list of squigs and a stompa. <laughs> that's it. That's all I'll play. I'll like master that list. That's like picking Ivern or something in League, and that's all I play. That's what I'm gonna do. So when I actually play 40k, I'm gonna play orcs or necrons. That's it. Um, but at least I'll have played it. And now I at least understand it. I still think I prefer Age of Sigmar. I think I just like it. Um, because I just still like fantasy better. And, you know, medieval fantasy and whatever it might be. I just enjoy that more. Um, but I at least now have 40k knowledge and I have some armies that I actually like. So, there you go. Everybody's always like, Krendor, you play 40k? Okay, now I play 40k. There it is. <laughs> um, and that's my, my Warhammer rant. So, uh, going forward, I'm excited. I've been having a lot of fun with Warhammer, especially... Playing the games. Uh, I've played so many Sigmar games at this point, and I've actually done two battle reports against myself. <laughs> They're non content battle reports, so if you care about that, that's also on the Warhammer Krendor channel down below. You can check those out. One's like Seraphon versus uh, Ossiarch Bone Reapers, and then I also played against myself Seraphon versus like Skaven, I think. I think those are the two I did, I'm pretty sure. So, and I, playing a game against yourself is so weird, man. <laughs> But it's actually pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Um, some people are like, how do you even do that? Well, just go watch. You'll find out. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Again, check out my Warhammer channel. Check out the video I mentioned from last year showing off all my stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping I'm hoping they have a Skaven Covex. Covex? <laughs> Codex. <laughs> coming out in the summer, because that's the big rumor now, and I'm like, dude, give me that Skaven book. 
Give me that Skaven book. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, oh, I have Night Haunt, too, but I never play Night Haunt. So now they're coming out with a book. So that's neat. Now I can have a Night Haunt book. I forgot about them. So, yeah. <laughs> and they have Night Haunt crossbows coming out. That's going to be neat. Happy for that. All right. Now nah, I'm done. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. See ya.